So uh, we're going to talk about how do you receive a sponsor uh, support for your cause, product, or services. So you can request uh, sponsorships for your particular product, service, whatever it is that you're selling. You can actually request sponsorships yourself rather than if you have a podcast um, and sponsors come contact you, you can actually do the reverse. So yes, it is possible. Okay, so a couple of things I want you to think about before you get into deep into um, asking people to sponsor your products, services or whatever you're offering is to think about what is the goal that you're trying to do? What what is the reason why you are doing this? And I always every time I start off with anything, whether it be um, a workshop, a challenge or anything when I'm um, teaching, I always want you to think about why you're doing a certain thing. Um, because if you don't know why you're doing it, or if you don't have a plan, or if you don't have like some sort of uh, strategic step-by-step -step as to what you're doing and what the end result, the objective is, then um, there's no need to actually like jump into it. You need to have a complete plan um, as to why you want to do you know, request a sponsorship. Um, so think about what is your goal? Um, what are you trying to promote? That's very important. And when you're trying to launch it, because um, if you have a launch time frame and like a certain date, or it could be, well, I'm launching this thing for, let's say, doing a two week launch something like that, <laughs> um, then you want to definitely try and get as many sponsorships as possible and have all your sponsors on the same page for that two-week period and have them promoting or if it's for a month or whatnot. So those are the things you definitely want to think about, okay? So I'm going to talk about 10 ways to get sponsorships, and I'll go into these uh, one by one. If you have any questions, definitely put the questions in the uh, comments section. And okay, awesome. Okay, good. I'm still good. All right. So, um, 10 ways to get sponsors, okay, for your calls, not actually request the, the request to make money from to sub to uh advertise other people, but to get sponsors to advertise your event, your product and service. So number one, you can start with local businesses. So you can actually like maybe go into your chamber of commerce, look for businesses that is similar to your niche and just reach out to them, you know, um, let them know, hey, I have a event or whatnot. And I would like for you to sponsor this event. Um, I probably should talk about this a little later, but when things come to me, I just have to say it. <laughs> um, make sure, and I'll, I'll probably talk about this a little bit later. I do believe it's in my slides, but um, make sure you have uh, marketing material or something to give them. And we'll talk about that a little bit later, but you have to have something to give them so that they can promote because they're not going to create the materials and things themselves. Um, so yes, I will talk about that a little bit later about um, having a marketing kit, but you definitely want to give them something, okay? And make sure it aligns with what you're doing as well, okay? Look for number two, look for companies that are similar to your niche, same way with businesses. You can do this online as well. Go into Facebook groups, go into Facebook groups that's in a similar niche and start asking people, you know, um, you could do like... Um, you can do like a swap. Like it doesn't have to be a sponsorship, but you can actually say, hey, I need 10 people. I would like to have 10 people to uh, promote this to your email list. And in exchange, I will do X, Y, Z. So you can actually do a swap to actually promote your service. This is like, I think the easiest way to do it. Um, you could do it that way and then have them promote it to their email list, whatever your product, your service is. So look for Facebook groups that is similar to your needs so that you can actually collaborate with those people. And a lot of those Facebook groups, they actually have promo days. They have days where you can promote, you know, a service or whatever it is you're trying to do. You can actually do that and then just get, a, you know, a collective of people. Make sure you actually 
it's like a trade for trade type of thing. So don't just say, hey, can you do this? And then they're like, okay, well, what am I getting in return? Okay. Um, number four, promotional partnerships. You could do that. Um, I was in Alignable and I always talk about Alignable. I love Alignable. And um, I met up with this one girl. She had her own business and she was actually met up with several people that want to do partnerships. Um, but she had her own business and we talked about doing a partnership and everything. And she had the whole contract, what it's about, um, how much you would get, you know, for referrals and different things like that. So you can actually build a promotional partnership. And then a lot of times in the service-based business world, it's called a uh, referral partners. Um, you can do that as well to to help with your sponsorships. Um, Podcorn, number five, Podcorn. I like Podcorn because Podcorn is a definitely good way for you to actually get started with, um, with, stating that you want to, that you looking for sponsors, um, through podcasting. So it's, it's so easy. I actually went through the whole platform, the interface and everything. It is so easy to have everything well laid out for you to enter it in, um, how much, what your budget is, everything. So definitely look at Podcorn and I would definitely highly recommend Podcorn, which is actually one of the slides that I'm going to say I highly recommend Podcorn to actually get started if you want to, you know, dip your feet into it. But Podcorn is a, a 0% leasing fee, listing fee, and a 10% service fee. Okay. So if you want to say, well, I don't know, like how I don't have time. I don't have time to actually reach out to local businesses and go into Facebook group and ask people and gather up promotional partners. You can actually go to Podcorn uh, because there's a lot of podcasters um, on that platform. And that platform is uh, with Buzzsprout, um, which is the platform I use for my podcast. They actually promote Podcorn as well. So I've been through it, um, through the interface. I get uh, emails every week from Popcorn. Let me know what are the sponsorship opportunities so I can actually go in there as a podcast host, go in there, see who um, are looking for sponsors uh, for their product. And um, I can see if it's something that I like, if it's something that I want to do. I There's a way that you actually can communicate with um, the person that needs to sponsor. So it is so super easy. So definitely check that out. Um, another place I actually looked, um, number six, I uh, looked online and I actually saw this website and it says looking for sponsors. So if you go to lookingforsponsors.com, you can actually go on there and actually enter in that you're looking for sponsors as well. So you can uh, look at that website and check it out. Um, it looks like it's pretty simple to use and um, sign up. So check that out. Uh, number seven, you could go, you could go on Instagram, look for influencers in your niche, send them a DM and say, Hey, I'm looking for a sponsor, or I would like to do a collaboration with you regarding my product. In exchange, you'll get a free XYZ. That's the only reason why they will actually do anything. Uh, you get a free XYZ in exchange and see if they'll do that. See if they'll do a shout out, shout out about your product. Um, Instagram is a really good way to actually connect and collaborate. I get so many people send me a DM about um, wanting to send me free jewelry, wanting to send me free stuff if I talk about uh, their product uh, or services. Um, now, let me remind you, I only have like 460 something people on my Instagram. So I'm like, did you not see the numbers? I don't have millions of people on there, but doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So this is actually a good way to actually get your 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 feet wet and put in the door um, to get started with influencers. I'm not an influencer, but apparently, you know, they still send me things. <laughs> um, number eight, you can go to gumball.fm. It is pricey. It's very pricey. We're talking about in the thousands of dollars. Um, but I do want to mention that uh, if it's something that you want to level up, and um, get really like want to create like an ad 
and have uh, podcasters actually roll that ad on their podcast, especially podcasts that get millions and millions of downloads a month. You can do that. Um, but like I say, it's pricey and it is in the thousands of dollars. Okay. Um, ACAS.com. Um, this is for sponsorships and advertising. So you can definitely look into that. And then um, number 10, Podbean Marketplace. You can go on Podbean. Podbean does podcasting and um, they do the sponsorships as well. You can look into that for your podcast if you want to um, start launching your podcast and you're looking for software to actually do it. Podbean is really good. And also, if you want to do a sponsorship with them as well, okay? Do you have any questions regarding these 10 sponsors? If you have any questions, definitely let me know below. Awesome. No questions. Okay. So, like I said, I recommend pod, uh, popcorn. <laughs> There's too many pod things going on. Um, I recommend Podcorn uh, to get started. So definitely go there. Um, it's a it's an easier interface to to use when you're getting started. I would highly recommend doing that. Okay, just Podcorn.com. Okay. So the next thing is, well, Kansas is fine and dandy, but how do I pitch for my sponsorships? Okay, I'm actually going to show you an example of someone pitching to me and what the email looked like. You don't have to make this complicated, okay? So first, what you want to do is you want to research the company that you want to um, host or have or connect or do a partnership um, for your product service or whatever it is that you're offering. Um, you want to research potential uh, sponsors. So research the company, research potential sponsors in your niche, both of those in your niche. Um, you want to customize your pitch for each brand. I cannot stress that enough. Do not create a template and send them the template. Don't do that. You want to customize it for the company. Make sure you put their name on there. Um, just make it customizable to them so then they'll know and understand that you've done your research on them. Okay. Um, you want to develop sponsorship packages as well. Uh, I would say you could probably create that along with um, where is it? Uh, well, along with your marketing materials as well. So you can actually develop all of that, and then you can do that in Canva. Do it as a PDF when you send it over to them as an attachment, um, and include essential information so they can better understand your company, your cost, or your product. You want to add that information in there. Add testimonials from previous sponsors. So if you had someone who actually um, sponsored your product or someone who actually you work with as a partnership or something like that, if you haven't asked for a testimonial, ask for a testimonial um, as soon as possible. Um, preferably a video. Video is really good. That tends to convert better. Uh, people watch those and um, ask for that and have that available as well. So when you are pitching your sponsorship to the company, you'll have those video testimonials as well. Um, add testimonials from previous sponsors, optional, optional, and um, provide data about your target audience. So make sure you put in who you're targeting, all the information, that uh, regarding your target audience and make sure that I can't stress this enough, make sure that the company or the sponsor is aligned with your audience and what you're trying to sell. Okay. And also do a follow-up as well. Okay. Uh, Lisa asks, uh, are there certain questions to ask when making a request? Um, yeah. Yeah, there are. So it's a couple of them. Um, I'm actually showing you right now. So how to get started. Um, if you Now, it depends on, do you want to pitch directly to companies? I want you to think about that. So do you want to pitch directly to companies, to influencers, individuals, or do you want to um, go through like some sort of uh, website software like Podbean? So it depends on which route you're trying to go, 
Okay. But there are certain questions you can ask, but um, I would say create your, your pitch and your marketing materials first. And then if they have questions, then you can actually uh, answer those well. Yes, companies direct. Yeah. So I'm going to show you. So here's a pitch example that I have here that a company pitched to me. Okay. And uh, just take note of this. Um, so this was for Magic Mind um, podcast sponsorship request. Okay. So the title here already has the company, um, what they're asking, and the request. Okay. Um, so this part here really kind of like, I don't want to say irked me. Um, I would, it was kind of like, Hey there. And I'm like, okay. A lot of people, when they send in me an email, they'll say, hi, Miss Dorsey or hi, CS Dorsey or something like that. So I kind of like overlooked it. But when you're sending a pitch, don't say hi there. Say hi in the name. <laughs> if you can't find anyone's name, um, just whoever you're sending the email to or whoever you found the, the email, um, I would say put the company name. So for instance, if I was to send a pitch to Magic Mind, I would say, hi, Magic Mind. Do it like that. Okay. Um, this person introduced herself. She said, I'm Grace, creator, partnerships, account manager at Magic Mind. So introduce yourself and who you are. Um, I really love your podcast, Helsey is Dorsey. I'm reaching out in hopes of working together as I would love to sponsor one or more of your episodes. Okay. Um, so if they have a podcast, if you're pitching podcasts, my suggestion is to say um, that you love their podcast, name their podcast, and mention a particular episode that is in relation to maybe you or what you're trying to offer or something like that. Okay. And then you can have this as a separate sentence. I would love to sponsor one or more of your episodes. Just ask them. I mean, just let them know how many episodes you would like to sponsor, or if you are doing days or weeks, um, you can say, I would love to uh, sponsor um, but you're requesting it. So it will be totally different. So it will actually be a, a little different, um, which is pretty much the same thing here. So it will actually be like, instead of one or more episodes, if you're not pitching a podcast, it will be, I would like to, um, I would like to sponsor, um, maybe a couple of weeks of your time or, state when you're launching your product or service. I hope that makes sense. Here's a question. Marketing materials, is there a format to follow for presentations? Um, there's really not a particular format. You can actually create a media kit in Canva. Okay, you can actually do that. And um, Canva actually have uh, a layout of media kits. So here she said, uh, briefly on Magic Mind, we designed the world's first productivity drink and science-backed blend of matcha. Um, and then she states the main ingredients of the product. And then um, work together will get you faster into a flow state. No anxiety, no jitters, just focus and productivity. So for this whole sentence, whole two sentence, she briefly explained what the product is that she is trying, they are trying to promote. Okay. So you don't have to go into a whole like paragraph. You can take the main points of your product service, whatever you're trying to offer and do a two sentence. And then um, it states, would you be happy to give? Oh, would be happy to give you more details. Let me know if you if it's of interest to you. Okay, so her email that she sent to me was just basically an introduction to capture my attention. Okay, to see if this is something that I'm interested in. Once I say that yes, I'm interested in, then she sent me the whole thing. 
She broke everything down. I should add that on here, but she broke everything down. Okay, we were like six episodes. This is how much it's gonna be. This is how I want you to mention. And it was like a four page, four or five page, um, more information kind of type of media kit that she included. Once I read all the information, the details and everything, I was like, yes, I would like to continue. So after that, she followed up again with, okay, so these are the touch points I would like for you to mention in your podcast. So there is like, there's definitely a chain of communication, but it apparently they had like a process a flow of how they were doing things. They didn't send everything all in one email because if they would have did, I probably would have been like, no, I'm out. Um, But she slowly sent emails. And once I was like, yes, I would like to continue. Then she sent the next email with the next information. Would you like to continue? And then there was like a sort of an agreement as well. I didn't have to sign it. I just had to say, yes, I agree. And then that's how we proceed okay so it could be even though it seemed like it may take a long time the back and forth it was very strategic how they did it because it was little by little so that I can learn a little bit more about them and also build a rapport with Grace as well because her and I communicated every single time I had an episode if something came up I say hey I'm not uh, doing a podcast this time. I'm having a family member uh, emergency, different things like that. So we actually build that relationship, which is very important as well. Okay. So that's how you basically can structure your email. You don't have to do it long because I'm telling you, if you do a long, like an intro uh, email, no one is going to read that at all. I wouldn't even read it. I've had you know, podcast pitches um, for people to be guests, like almost a book. And I'm like, no, because you're probably going to talk too much. So (laughs) why is it too much information? And besides, you're not even in my target audience. So, um, but keep it clean, keep it simple, keep it sweet. Um, Okay. So your action items, of course, I have to have you do some sort of homework or take action, of course. Um, I wouldn't be a a good leader or a good mentor if I didn't. So your action items is to ask yourself, what is your goal? I want you to get get out a piece of paper, rewatch this over again, ask yourself, what is your goal? Okay. And then create a plan. So you want to create a plan um, of who you want to pitch the companies, everything. Like if you want to pitch maybe maybe two companies a week. Or if you're like Candace, I just want to get my plan out and then I'm going to go to Podcorn to actually fill out the information. Then that way, you know, um, another thing with Podcorn is as soon as when you enter your information for your sponsorship, um, then it will go out, it will be emailed out to podcasters who are signed up with Pod, with Podcorn. So I will see it as well because I get an email every week. So that is the beauty and benefit of Podcorn is they actually email what new sponsorships is out this week. So yours could be one of them, okay? Um, research the company and or the podcast you want to pitch to create a media kit. So like I said, if you want to start, start off, sign up for popcorn to get started. Um, and then you can branch off later. Then you can get really into it, um, pitching to different companies and everything. But just starting off, I would definitely highly recommend do popcorn. Okay. This is even great if you have a course. Like if you have a course um, that you have sold or, you know, you want to kind of like get more people knowing about your course or any type of digital product you have, definitely use Podcorn 100%. Okay. All righty. So your next steps. Okay. So if you're struggling with starting your podcast, you don't know where to start or you're struggling with creating a content plan because you just don't have the time to do so, definitely give me a 
call, reach out to me. Um, my website is uh, to, sorry, to schedule a call with me. Um, go to hellocsdorsey.com, C-W-C. That is chat with Candace. It's hellocsdorsey.com, C-W-C. Um, this is the calendar for June. So I do have some openings coming up for June. Um, and my calendar is free. 15-minute call if you want to talk about anything like, hey, Candice, I'm thinking about starting a podcast or, hey, Candice, I want to create content for my podcast or my social media. I can definitely help you with that. Um, but I just don't have time to do so. Any tips, any, you know, strategies or anything like that, we can definitely talk about that. Um, I will be more than happy to help you.